Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby, St. Stephen Baptist Church here in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master. Do you want to turn your dreams into reality? The bridge that turns dreams into realities is a bridge called commitment. Commitment is absolutely important to achieve anything, fidelity, um, dedication and loyalty to a purpose and a cause. And the Bible teaches that when we get committed to the right things, that God gives us power to reach incredible things, incredible dreams, incredible aspirations and goals when we get committed. I love what 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9 says. The eyes of the Lord searches the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose heart are fully committed to him. Notice it says God is looking for people who will be committed. And once he finds that you are committed, guess what God will do? God will strengthen those. God will give you strength and power. There are some blessings I know in my life, and I'm sure you can attest to this that it is impossible to have happened if God had not come to strengthen you. Now you may be asking, well, God didn't come to strengthen me. And could it be that you were not exercising commitment? Because it says God strengthens those whose hearts are what? Fully committed. I mean, all in. God says, I'm going to give you strength in order to reach those goals. God will help you, strengthen you when you get committed. What is God calling you to be committed to? What is the dream that God is calling you to be committed to? Is it something in your personal life that you know that you're supposed to be doing? Is there some changes in your life that you know you're supposed to be making? Is it uh, some people that you're supposed to be helping? Is it a business you're supposed to be starting? Is it a degree that you're supposed to be pursuing? Is there some change in the society that you're supposed to be helping to effectuate? Whatever it is, get fully committed to it. And God has made a promise. I will strengthen you to, to achieve that goal, to reach that dream, to make that, that aspiration come to pass. God said, I'll strengthen you. And I'm a witness that when God strengthens you, God gives you the power and the ability to do things that you know only God could have done, only God. Let me give you four quick areas where I would suggest that you and I would work on being committed. You kind of a punch list of commitment. Here's four areas. Number one, be committed by giving God the first thought in each day. The first thought in each day, which means when you wake up, before you turn on the news to watch Bad News America, Give God the first thought in each day. Psalm 5 verse 3 says, Each morning I will look to you in heaven and lay my request before you, praying earnestly. When does he do this? Each morning. So before you give thought to anything else, get up in the morning and give God. This is commitment. For the rest of your life, give God the first thought in each day. Even the Lord's Prayer says, Give us this day our daily bread. When you pray that prayer in the morning, you don't wait to the end of the day and say, give me this day my, our daily bread because the day is already gone. So in the morning, set the tone for the rest of your day by giving God the first thought in each day. Secondly, here's another area of commitment. Give God the first day of every week. And the first day of every week is Sunday. So on Sunday, get ready on, for Sunday morning to join your fellow church members in worship. Now that we cannot be in the building, most of us are worshiping online, but make sure that you give God, be committed to worship and give God the first day of every week. Acts chapter 20 and verse seven says, on the first day of the week, we came together to break bread or to observe the Lord's Supper. They came together for worship. So give God the first thought of every day. Give God the first day in every week. Here's a third commitment. Give God the first 10% of every paycheck. Give God, say, God, the first 10% of my paycheck, I'm setting aside 
for you, for your glory, for your purposes. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 9 says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, the first fruits of all of your crops. Honor the Lord with your wealth, the first fruit of all of your crops. You see, my brothers and sisters, when we give the first 10% of our paycheck back to God, we are saying to God, God, I prioritize you. I prioritize you. You're saying to God, God, I'm grateful for my past. I'm grateful for all you've done in my past, how you've brought me. And God, I have faith in you in the future. And that's commitment. Give God the first thought of each day. Give God the first day in each week. Give God the first 10% of every paycheck. And then finally, give God the first consideration in every decision. When you have a decision to make, don't ask everyone else. And then after you've asked everyone else, you then go to God. Don't do anything before you pray. Now, you've got to do some things after you pray, but when it comes to decision making, you should not do anything until you first give God the first consideration in every decision that you have to make. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 through 6 says, If you want favor with God, both God and man, and a reputation of good judgment and common sense, then trust the Lord completely. Don't ever trust yourself. In everything you do, put God first, and He will direct you and crown your efforts with success. God will direct you. So let's go over it again. Loyalty, dedication, commitment. It is loyalty and dedication and commitment that turns dreams into realities. And God will strengthen you if we're wholly, totally committed to God. So give God the first thought in each day. Give God the first day in worship of every week. Give God the first 10% of every paycheck and give God the first consideration in every decision. And you can claim 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9, where again it says, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen. In other words, guess who God is looking for? God is not looking for the most intelligent. God is not looking for the most beautiful. It says, the eyes of the Lord is searching, looking, the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. So when God is looking for the earth for somebody to bless, make sure that you're the one that can say, God, I'm committed to you. Would you strengthen me that I might do your will and fulfill your purposes? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word today and help us to be committed to whatever you're calling us to do and watch how you strengthen us so that dreams are turned into reality. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us again on these powerful points to ponder. And uh, we're doing it because we're going to spend for the rest of our lives some meaningful moments with the Master. We're going to pray every day and go to God every day. God bless you. Thank you for being with us. And as we close, as we do always, don't forget to stay safe. In this COVID-19 season, stay sane, get the word of God in you, trust God, and if you can, stay home. Blessings and peace upon you. See you tomorrow.